house followers. Happy Saturday. Okay, I am just going to make sure my video is up and running. Just give me one second. Hmm. Might have to refresh it here. Okay, there you guys are. All right. And I'm just going to check if you guys can hear me. Um, if you're joining in, give me a hello. So today we're going to be making a fun um, steak piece. So I have Oregon with me here today. Um, but you could really put this on like the Idaho or the Washington one. Just kind of depends on where you are from. So I am going to start with painting this first, so I'm just going to make sure I pull this tree to the side. But I want to show you a few other things I got here. So I am going to put a fun little vinyl on here. Um, I think this little time for adventure is perfect for me personally. I like to go out and hike. Um, and then I have a couple different alcohol inks here. So I got a mojito and evergreens, a rain green, a rainforest green, and then the sienna. And of course I got my little, I call it little alcohol ink doodad, and my little felt pads. And then for the paint, I am going to use, I think this little tropical baby blue. I believe it's a little too bright for me. Um... So I might go ahead and add a little white, but I'm just going to squeeze this right onto the, it'll come out. Oops, got a little. I have something plugging the hole, sorry, give me a second. Okay. So I'm just going to put the paint right onto the surface. Wipe my hand off real quick. Give me a second, you guys. So let's see what this looks like. And I'm not using any special brush. A foam brush would do great as well. I think I probably will end up adding a little bit of white. This is a little too blue for me, too bright of blue, but that is just a preference. Now I kind of chose blue because it kind of, for Oregon, it reminds me of the license, or Washington. Which one is it? One of the state license plates. But I also love the way that the green on this alcohol ink is gonna look once the trees are put on here. Uh, I'm really trying to spread this thin because we're going to get this to dry by the time we go to put it on. Another thing I like about kind of adding that white in there is I can kind of blend it. <clears throat> but also, it might help give it a little bit of different texture. Like I could kind of leave it where there's some streaks like it would be like a sky. And again, very easy to paint this piece. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna add some of that white now. Just a little bit. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. Oh yeah, I like that. Just kind of gives it a whole nother little texture. It kind of dulls it down just a little bit. It's kind of hard to see that on camera. So remember that if you are at home doing this project and 
you put on a color and it is way too bright, just throw a little white in there. Help dull it down just a little bit, make it a little less bright. Or you could just let it dry and paint right on over it. Okay, I might go ahead and add just a tad more white. Okay, so I'm just going back and forth, filling that white in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side and let this dry now. I really don't mind on my edges yet. I would like to point out, you guys, I did not paint my edges on this piece yet. I probably will go in later because if I put this on the wall, I'm not going to like how that looks. But I do let that top layer go ahead and dry first. Um, Sandy, yes, this has started and good morning, everybody. I just haven't done any of the alcohol ink yet, so we're going to start on the alcohol inking now. So I'm bringing over this lovely layered tree piece. We do have a black one, but I'm using that like more silver looking one today. And we're going to come in. So what I'm kind of envisioning is I think I'm going to go ahead and make these trees darker in the back, uh, like a darker green. Like I'm looking at it and I see those far trees are just a tad darker. So I'm going to use that ever Oops, Everglades. I think I called it Evergreens earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my alcohol ink pad. And then I have some alcohol ink blending solution, and I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. You don't have to for this piece, but I still like how it looks. And I'm just going to go, I'm dabbing it all the way across. If you want to get this filled quicker, you could easily just swipe your felt pad and your dauber back and forth. But I like the look that I get when I dab the um, felt pad just a little bit more. There'll be some areas I'll have to go through and I'll use that little swiping technique. Okay, I'm doing all that back layer. I need a little bit more, so I'm just going to go ahead and spread that on. I'll probably let that dry, and then I'll come back in and put another layer, and then I might add a little bit of that mojito green onto that background, too. But we'll see how this piece ends up. If any of you guys are tuning in and also kind of wondering, this surface I have is that Tim Holtz Glass Media um, mat, and I love it because after I'm done, I can just come through and I just take a, I personally take the Clorox uh, disinfectant wipes and just wipe away my mess. Um, I know if you're just doing alcohol ink, some people will use Gotta get my tag off. Um, we'll just go ahead and use a blending solution, but I already got the wipes around, so I tend to just use that so I can make sure I get it all nice and clean. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that top layer now. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that mojito green. And I'm just going to get it all on my felt pad. I'm just going to come in here without the blending solution because I want to show you guys you don't necessarily need it for this project. Um, the alcohol ink itself does kind of marble a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see how it does kind of marble on that tree. I just personally, I think it does it just a tad more when I add that blending solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that blending solution. 
And then I'll come in here and color my trees. Ooh, I love the lighter trees on top. I'm glad I ended up doing that. That was kind of a last minute decision. Kind of gives it a little bit more depth. Okay. And I, I don't know if you guys are noticing, I'm not getting any of this bottom yet. I'm gonna come in with some different colors, a different color. I don't want it to all be green. I wanna get some brownish kind of tones in there. So now I'm just going to kind of go back over putting another layer. I'll call ink dry super quick you guys. So I could just keep layering this all day if I wanted. I could bring in another green. Um, or once it dries I could possibly take like a paint pen and maybe I want little birds in the trees and draw little birds. I could do that as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit more on the back and then I'm gonna of that um, Everglades. And then I am going to add a little bit of that mojito and some spots on that back side. See, so using that blending solution, I'm getting parts on my tree that's like darker and some that are a little bit lighter, and that's exactly what I was wanting. Valerie, I did not seal the um, metal trees prior to adding this alcohol ink. Um, I can seal it after, and what I do is there is a gloss that uh and i'll add a picture on here after i'm done but there's a gloss i could go ahead and put above this it, it will seal it really nicely um one thing i do like to put is there's a varnish um and i'll spray a varnish on there because that won't ruin my alcohol ink um if i had a bunch of different colors on here it could if i just went and put like a gloss on it or a mod podge it would slightly change what your alcohol ink was doing. So I just took this felt pad off and I am getting a little bit onto that brown. Um, you do not have to do that, but I want to make sure I get it. I can see it through my green, my bright green trees and I don't like that. So I just take it off, get my finger in there. If you don't want to get alcohol ink on your hands, I suggest, uh, wearing some gloves okay so I am going to come in with that mojito I'm just taking that felt pad again coming in with that mojito again <clears throat> blending solution and then I'm just gonna kind of put some spots here and there on that back layer. It's all down to preference. You guys don't have to do that. You could keep it how it is. I'm just looking for another little texture. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on that top layer again. See how I come in with that next layer and I, I'm getting some of those brighter greens versus just going through once and leaving it. Okay. Let's come in and do that bottom part now. I'm using the Sienna. There's other brownish colors you could use. This is just what I have on hand. I'm going to make it work. So I'm just gonna, for here, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it and swipe it. I'm not gonna do the um, 
the up and down tapping, dabbing. Because I do want this to have a little bit smoother look. Not quite as marbly. Get some of my trees down below. Now, if this was too brown for me or too orange, I could go back through um, just taking blending solution and wiping it away. But I really like the way this is looking. It blends really nicely with that metal in the background. And I am done alcoholicking this. I think I like it. What do you guys think? Should I add any more green? I'm gonna check to see if my piece is dry here. Okay, I'm gonna bring this piece in, but I am gonna I have to go ahead and take a heat gun to it because it is not quite dry yet for me. I usually give this a little bit more time and I would let this fully dry before taking a heat gun, but since we're doing a video, we're gonna dry this as quick as we can. Now I'm kind of thinking about the placement of my trees while I'm drying this. I know that I want them to be lower on here like this. Um, I don't know if I want it to be centered or a little off-centered. I have a feeling if I do it centered, I'm gonna get a lot of more empty space that I'm not gonna be able to play with. Um, so I'm probably gonna off-center it. Okay. So I'm almost dry here, you guys. I'm gonna get up in that corner. I mean, because I'm gonna put a vinyl down, so I wanna make sure my corners up here are really dry. you guys think? Should I center this or should I off-center it? I'm thinking if I off-centered it, I could kind of have it come off the state a little bit, which would be fun. And I could actually leave, if I did that, I'd have room for me to put a picture, which would be so fun and a really good gift. Like I could give that to my mom. Yes, yeah, Sandy, I did go ahead. This was a wood and I painted over this. And then this is all alcohol inked on here. I think I kind of like the off-centered a little bit. Now I know for the Washington State I did, um, it has, you know, the little, all the little smaller pieces over here. Um, I did go ahead and off-centered that and was able to mess with the vinyl a little bit more. But I'm thinking I might, I'm going to come in with a picture after this. I, don't have a frame with me, but I think that would be so cute. Valerie's saying off-centered. See what all you guys think. So I got it a little off-centered or I could center it. Yeah, I don't think I like it centered. And I definitely, I personally like it to the right a little bit more because I got a little bit more texture up here and this is a little bit more square. So what I'm, I am gonna do, or you can do if you're at home, is you could go ahead, um, I'm at E6000 this. My container is actually not squeezing. I think I glued it shut, so I can't do it on the video. But you're just gonna take the E6000, and then you're just gonna push it down here. You'll let it dry. I kinda usually hold it. Um, for a good amount of time, and then I will sometimes go and place um, a few things to just 
hold that pressure while this dries for 24 hours. Um, that's just a personal preference. If you do have the, um, like a staple gun at home, you are able to staple gun this to the piece. And I've done that. And what I do is I'll come in with a little alcohol ink. So if I have it on that brown, I'll take that sienna and I'll just kind of color my staple. And it just blends in so nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to put that vinyl on and I'm actually going to trim this vinyl. I'm going to puzzle it together. I'm going to see where I like it best. I don't want anybody to ever be afraid of like pulling apart pre-cut vinyls and creating your own piece. Sometimes I don't like the way it's laid out, but I love a saying. I might actually do this over here. Time for an adventure. I could go across this way. What do you guys think? I had Judy asked to show off the glue container. So this is E6000. I also tend to use a lot of my quick grip, um, very similar. It dry, both will dry clear. Um, the quick grip will dry a, quicker than the E6000, but it's just going to be a preference. So I would suggest one of these two. And you just put that all the way on the back side. I think I'm going to go like this, you guys. I'm not sure where I want the trees yet, but I think I, I like the time for adventures spread out. Um, one thing about this vinyl, what I like to suggest is always laying it down on your flat surface. And I like to go up across the top with something that's a blunt edge. I always have crafts, craft popsicle sticks with me. So those are always my grab and go. And you just peel corner to corner. You want to make sure it's picking up all of your little vinyl pieces and then it's sticking to that top transfer layer. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to place this guy right there. I, let's see what you guys are saying. Letter down left side. Leave it off centered. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it off centered. Should I put the trees up above you guys or should I keep them down? I'm not sure. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, come in with that popsicle stick again and you just wanna make sure you get the vinyl adhered nicely to your surface. Um, some of these you are able to just go ahead and take your finger, just rub across, and then you're just going to peel corner to corner. You want to make sure if you are painting or you have alcohol ink and putting a vinyl on top that it's going to, your surface is nice and dry because this transfer sheet is sticky so it will pull your paint off. Okay, you guys, and I would not like to see that. I want you guys to do all of your beautiful work and then not be able to love it because you accidentally pulled up some paint. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to put the adventure right here. And I always slightly rub it with my fingers and then I go ahead and come in with either that card. Um, credit card or my popsicle stick just kind of depends on what I have on hand and then I just peel back now if you're peeling these back I want to point out if it I wish one of these would catch if it catches and you see it just push it right back and just give it a little rub and then keep going oh see how that end comes up perfect example just push it down 
give it a little rub. Oops, did my tea's not want to come. Maybe I didn't get this bottom. I'm just gonna go through. I like to go nice and slow with these just because you do sometimes have those letters not stick down. And if you go too quick, you might rip your vinyl. Okay, we said no trees, so I didn't put the trees on you guys. And then this is my final piece. How fun is that? Again, I left room because I think I could put a cute little picture and give this as a gift, um, but I personally love it how it is. I could have also, since I haven't glued this, I could shuffle my trees over so it's closer to the adventure, which is really cute as well. Um, someone in the stores was telling me it would be really cute to go ahead and put a little heart wherever you're from. So you could take a little red paint pen, put a little heart where you live in the state. That would be really fun as well. But yeah, easy peasy, you guys. All you have to have is paint and some alcohol ink and you can create such a beautiful piece here as a gift or just for your home. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to go through after this video, make sure I didn't miss anybody's questions. Um, I will show, I, I know some people had problems with uh, the video starting, so I do want to just show off. I have the ceramic, ceramic coat tropical blue, oh my gosh, tropical bay blue, sorry you guys. That's what I put down for the background with a little bit of white that I just kind of whitewashed in. And then, let me put my caps on here. For my greens, I did just use the Ranger Everglades and the Mojito. And then for that brown piece, I used the Sienna. And that was from Ranger. And then of course, my alcohol blending solution and then my alcohol ink applicator with the felt pads. So just little felt pads that go right onto that Velcro. And then your choice of E6000 or quick, quick grip to go ahead and add it to your surface and just give it some time to dry and adhere and you're ready to get it all hung up. Um, I would point out on the back of this, There are no hangers, so um, our frame shop does have little um, hangers you could put on the back side. Just kind of depends on how you want it hung up. There's the alligator teeth or um, the ones that have little hoops. So don't forget those if you're doing that at home. Thank you. So much. Oh yeah, Kathy says command strips. Command strip would work great for that as well. Alright you guys, thank you for joining us. I want to see all your alcohol ink projects, so share them to our groups, uh, tag us. We love to see what you all are doing. Thank you. Happy Saturday. Hope you get to enjoy the beautiful weather.